I'm Mrs. Dickinson. I'm head of department for Latin and classical civilization. And I want to tell you a little bit about classical civilization A-level, which is new to Heimers as of this term. We've just started teaching it. It's a fantastic subject because it allows those people who might be a little bit intimidated by studying uh, the Romans and the Greeks in Latin and Greek in the original text, it allows you to access uh, those subjects, but in translation. So you don't have to know any Latin or ancient Greek to do class six. Uh, we follow the OCR syllabus, and that is basically split between three different elements, all of which result in an exam at the end of the two year period. The first element, which accounts for 40% of the final mark, is called the world of the hero. And this is the bit that I teach and I love it. It's such a fantastic course to teach over the two years. Basically, we look at the two of the most famous epic poems, Homer's Odyssey and Virgil's Aeneid. So the first, the Greek epic, and the second, the Latin equivalent. And we look at them in translation. So just to reiterate, uh, you do not have to know Latin or Greek to do that element of the course. Uh, we, we tend to approach the text a bit like you would with an English text that you were studying at A-level. So we're looking at the, the structure, the style of the narrative, the use of dialogue, characterization, particular elements which are unique to epic poetry. You get really a in, real in-depth view into uh, the world of the Odyssey. That We studied that for two terms, and then we move on to the Aeneid. It, it's fantastic. If you like that element of, of English GCSE and your English studies, where you're analyzing a passage to look at the style and the content, the way an author, for instance, presents a character, or, or the choice of vocabulary, or the way that a passage is made, exciting and dramatic. It's that sort of skill set that you need for the world of the hero paper. The other two papers uh, are taught by Dr. Main. And the first of those, which you'll start straight away in year 12, is, a, is about Emperor Augustus and the way he created his imperial image. This is a fascinating period of Roman history. So it's the downfall of the Republic and the emergence of Augustus as the first emperor of Rome. And it's all about how he uses coinage, statues, poetry, inscriptions to really generate this new imperial image. It's the birth of propaganda, really. So you get to understand the politics, the military struggle, the society, the values, the turmoil that was going on in Rome at the time that allowed Augustus to establish his one-man rule. After two terms of that, you move on to the third paper, and that's the birth of Greek democracy a bit that something that people maybe know a little bit about, but not about the details. So this is a study of archaic and then classical Athens, the birthplace of democracy. How did democracy start? What were the foundations of the democratic system? How did it operate? How did it develop? How was it received in the classical world? So the idea of the two courses that Dr. Main teaches is it gives you a flavor both of Greek history and of Roman history. So if you like politics, history, learning about the military, learning about social values and culture, and understanding how the classical world operated, then this is the subject for you. It sits very nicely with history, politics. Some students also take it alongside Latin A-level, which you can do, they obviously complement each other. Again, it doesn't matter if you haven't done Latin GCSE, there's still um, no problem with you starting to do class A-level. I think sometimes people think it's a soft option and it's, that's not the case at all. It's a very uh, a broad based course and you really need to be on your game and be able to develop really good skills of critical analysis, responding to sources, uh, interpreting a variety of sources and uh, making sense of the classical world. There is plenty of opportunity to think about how that classical world impacts on our modern world today and it's a very thought provoking an exciting course to take.